short ride from New York City, Montauk feels like a world away. It's where one local company got its start, now taking the craft beer world by storm. Mm. I'm Rachel Holt. Come join me for this week's unique adventure. Way out on the eastern end of Long Island, an area known for its beautiful beaches, Montauk Brewing Company has a fan base that continues to grow, and we're here to find out what has everyone talking. You started this 10 years ago, so take me back to the very beginning. How did this idea come about? It started as kind of a hobby, just sharing homebrewed beers with our friends and family over, you know, summer barbecues, and definitely wasn't something that we thought we would turn into such a, a successful business. But it's fun to do something like this with a friend that you've known for a long time. It's a unique experience for sure. The beach cruiser that's outside with the keg attached to the back, that's actually how you first delivered beers to your customers around here, so you've really come a long way. <laughs> yeah, that was our first delivery vehicle. So, you know, 175 pound kegs, we'd load up and deliver them to a handful of accounts around town. It's part of our history here. I've been here many times. I've seen people dressed up. I've seen people in board shorts right from the beach. I've seen babies. I've seen dogs. And it seems like your motto, which we can see here, it really is come as you are. It's, you know, all welcoming, right? It's whoever you are, wherever you're from, we invite you to be part of our, our family, our Montauk Brewing family. You know, we try to keep it super casual. We're not pretentious in any way. What is the process like of brewing the beers? Keep it simple. You know, brew beers that I like to drink and that I think that people would love to drink. Quality first, right? But approachable. We're a, a little beach town, our tap room here, people coming off the beach with, you know, sand on their feet. They just want a cold beer. Which one is your flagship beer? That would be Wave Chaser. It wasn't until we launched Wave Chaser that our growth rate and our sales exploded. I think when most people picture Montauk, they're probably picturing a scene from the summer when it's crowded, when it's busy. But as locals, what is the community like out here year-round? We're fortunate to grow up out here because, you know, obviously the summertime when the restaurants are packed and everybody's doing a lot of business, it's great and we welcome that. But the fall and winter, it's so beautiful out here. You can make a left turn on Main Street. It you know slows down a little bit, so everybody kind of gets a breather. What has it been like seeing that idea that started 10 years ago grow into what it is now? It's been really exciting, you know, to be able to start something from our basement and then be able to sell our beers at Whole Foods in Manhattan and across Long Island and Jersey, and and we'll be growing out beyond there. It's been a wild ride. It's been a lot of fun. Next, I get an inside look at the brew house to see how a beer goes from concept to can. This is the brewery. This is where, you know, all the beer starts. We test everything here before we brew it on a larger scale. So everything from the first beer that we've ever made to all of our new creations, it all begins in this room here. Okay, what's the first step in the process? Everything starts in the mill room over there where the grains are milled. And then the brewing process is really these two vessels here. And then once the beer is brewed, we transfer it over to one of these tanks, which is which are the fermenters, where the yeast does its thing and converts the sugars to alcohol. And then uh, from there, it moves to a bright tank where it's carbonated and packaged. My favorite beer is pumpkin ale, which I'm totally going to get judged by the serious beer drinkers out there. But what I really like is that you play around with the flavors. So how does that work, trying the different beers? Yeah, so, I mean, we like to make beers that are super sessionable, that, um, you know, we know, you know, our fans are going to really enjoy. So we make a watermelon session ale because I really like watermelon, and that's great for the summer. And then the pumpkin, it's a perfect transition for the fall. What are some of those unique flavors that you've tried over the years? We've done all sorts of things. We have a, a cranberry beer on tap now. Um, probably the, the craziest one we've done is a, a pina colada beer. It was a huge hit. The, the tasting room staff hated it because it was, just did not pour well, but... Uh, <laughs> I, it's a great beer. <laughs> it tasted just like a pina colada. Pina colada beer actually sounds really good. How do we bring that back? I think there will be some resistance from the tasting room <laughs> folks, but I, I'm, I'm always down to do it. All right, well, you have a fan in me over here. This is a new beer that we're testing out. It's called a tropical IPA. We brewed it with mango and pineapple. It's actually carbonating right now, and it will be ready to package tomorrow. We have to cheers to all the hard work that's involved on behalf of all the Montauk Brewing Company fans out there. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I really like this one. For more fun and unique places to visit in the tri-state area, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.